Hello, I'm currently experimenting with different kinds of designs for envelopes. I have payments to make like everybody else, but sometimes the person is your personal trainer or your hairdresser or someone else who are doing you services that you really make, make you feel good about yourself. So you might want to present the payment in a bit of a more fancy a more meaningful manner than just put money into account or hand the cash over. And I've made different, uh, this is sizes for British banknotes. I've done, uh, and, and when you give gifts to people as well for birthdays or Christmases or whatever, this design can be used. And it's a good way to get uh, to use larger scrap pieces in your scrap stash, like like uh, half 12 inch pages or something, just to make a really lovely money envelope, for example. So you use those extra pieces, put money in, and wrap a ribbon around it or something. This is cardstock. This is also cardstock, but then I have experimented with uh, fabric here, and these are metal clamps that I made, metal paper clips. I just folded these metal decorations in half, and I use them as clips very often in things. I have a stash here of brass things. These things. You buy them cheap on eBay. You can fold them in half if you want to and use them as paper clips. So this was from a normal cotton fabric. Mostly no whatever you have for fabric it could be already printed fabric from a blouse or something or shirt. You can just cut out and fold into an envelope. I used masks and shimmer <coughs> mists and stamps on this one before I put it together and folded it. I actually ironed it a bit this fabric. I haven't starched it. I think it's fine as it is. And I cut out the, this in there. So this is the uh, this pattern is put on there by myself with just these dress inks and alcohol inks. And then I put a uh, cardstock thing in here with a card, what it is for, and the money in there, the cash payment. It's really fun to make and it's really fun to receive. So it's the same in there, the card with the money in. And now I have experimented with a leather one. This is from a thrift shop. I went and bought a jacket with really nice leather that I cut up into as large pieces as I could. And that jacket cost me five and, and it had lasted to cover books and all sorts of that leather. So that, that's another cheap way of getting materials stash for your for your crafting is go to thrift shop and buy buy the leather there instead and you can also you have instead of buying it online you can actually feel what the leather quality is like and have thin it is and stuff and you're sure that you get what you want and then i clean that usually they i, I buy re already clean clothes i don't buy dirty stuff but if i need to clean it then use the saddle soap saddle soap here some sort of saddle soap to really wipe it off and make sure that it is fresh and nice and no stays, stains on it and soft. So I cut, use my template to cut the envelope up in, in this one piece of leather. And then I've braided around the edges. So I've used 
long leather thongs that I have that I might show in another video but I think there are enough videos of leather braiding and leather crafts on YouTube already I don't know you shall see what I do but all around the edges I've done edge braiding like that and then I've oiled and I've oiled this with fragrant oils again this is from Holland and Barrett quite expensive stuff but I also have on a Saturday market here in town they have a very new agey little market stand with very mystical things in and I love their oils they sell there I use them a lot this is a rose so I've mixed on here the clary sage the rose and this agar wood which is a very extremely really is woody church bench or boat or Indian really nice smell wood so mix of that on here rubbed in so this leather envelope smells absolutely gorgeous and I put an eyelet in there with the leather strap with some decorations there's actually a reindeer horn button and of course it opens with the magnet put the magnetic ornament on there to hide the back of this the, the back of the aisle is always sharp and horrible so I hid it with a metal decoration that I glued with my metal glue sticks very nicely to the leather as well and under here and then I glue on a magic a magnet Looks a bit like a nipple, doesn't it? A magnet under there, and then I cover that with a circle of leather. Also using that metal glue. You can use E6000 or something else if you prefer. But that's, that is very good. So, so that is very, that's quite invisible. So that just closes with a magnet like that. And in here, obviously, then the money is supposed to go into this card here with a note what it is for. You can put in all sorts of notes and ephemera in there if you want to. I have here on the back folded in once and glued so that it's not a sharp leather edge here that will curl very easily. But it's a folded edge there and just I glue that to the back. So I had to count for that extra and I cut, cut the, the shape that that was to be folded in there but it's very simple just cut out one big sheet and fold it and glue it or stitch it or whatever in whatever material you want and it's all fun to decorate it and make something fancy out of it so how to make this then well I just made a rough template like this which is uh, from a from a uh, surreal box I've measured the uh, 20 British 20 pound notes and made these measurements according to that. But I'm going to make a separate video and actually show how to make these wonderful things. <laughs> 